What's up people and welcome to my tutorials in introductory to blockchains. So in the previous tutorial we went uh, kind of fast through the architecture of the application that we're going to be using and in this tutorial I'm going to run some demonstrations with it instead and I hope you guys had taken a little bit of time to, to browse through the code at least. You don't have to like understand everything but at least get a basic understanding of how that works and if you haven't that's also fine just stick around for the demonstration. Right, so uh, I feel like I need to show you a little bit more of the output when the node runs. So what I'm going to be doing here, uh, if you don't have nodemon, that's fine, you can just write, uh, type node. But I prefer to use this because it restarts when I save the files. So it gives me a little bit of crap output here in the beginning, you can ignore that. And what this does at this point is it outputs the blockchain of my node, right? So if you remember the simulation scenario that I have, this is for node one. It creates a couple of, it receives the genesis block and then it creates two transactions where it's buying stuff from, from uh, node two for 500 and 100 uh, of the currency. So let's put this in a formatter so we can see how it, how it looks like. All right, so paste this in here and I format it so it's a little bit more easy on the eye. So you can see that it's uh, it's an array because it's going to contain multiple blocks, right? And here we have the genesis block. It has block number zero, and you can see that he found a nonce of uh, what is it, two twenty-three four hundred fourteen. And here it has two data transactions where it's transferring money from the bank to 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 the node one account, right? So. The credit, it's getting credited from bank and then it's debiting the uh, node 1 with the amount of 500. So node 1 is receiving 500. And the second transaction, node 2, uh, is also receiving 700. And we're not running node 2 at this moment, so you can ignore this transaction right here. It's not going to do anything. So the next thing that happens is, it's uh, you can see that it's also created a hash with this prefix that I mentioned previously. And the second part here is the hashing of uh, all the other variables in here, basically. And to verify that that is correct, I have printed out, it's not so particularly pleasing or easy for the eye, but it's this row right here as a text string that is hashing. It's just string concatenating together everything. So if I take this in and post it in here, you can see that it gets the same output every time. Um, every time I click generate, it gives the exact same output. And you can also see that in this example, uh, if I change just a single letter in here, you can see it generates something completely different, right? So the first number here, I think it's the block number, or maybe they left out the block number because it's zero, but but let's assume that this is the block number and the non, I think this is actually the nonce, right? 23,414, yeah? So this is the nonce and it left out the block number because it was zero. But it doesn't really matter. If I change any number in here, let's say that I increment it by one, you can see that it's no longer valid. So if I start iterating this like this, you can see it's gonna try all these numbers and oh, there we had a hit because it was four zeros, right? And that's how it's gonna work with the blocks. And what is interesting in the blocks is that it also contains the previous hash. So this is the first block, right? We have the Genesis block. If we close that down, you can see the next block here. Uh, it is block number one. And what does it do? It transfers uh, some amount of money from uh, node one to node two. So here node 2 is buying something from node 1 for the amount of 500. So you can see the hashes here is also correct, right? And it also has a previous hash. This hash right here should be pointing to the previous block. So we can verify that by checking that this hash is equal to this hash, which, uh, which it is, fortunately. And... Uh, if we do the same right here, we check the the, uh, the terminal right, and there we have something else now. So if I take this, paste it in uh, my hasher, 
You can also see that it generates the same amount of hash that is uh, is in the uh, that is in the second part. This hash should be the same as this, which it is. Right? Yeah, it is. Uh, it's not it's not particularly easy to see, but in here it also contains the previous hash. You can see that it's probably this section right here is the previous hash. That is the hash of the previous block, which in this case it's the genesis block because this is block number one, and the genesis block is the previous one, right? So it should contain this one something something zero c. Something something zero Z, right? Mm. So there it is. It's it's containing the previous hash. And then it continues on like this until we're done. And as you can see, this this blockchain that I have here, it contains three blocks: the Genesis block and then two transactional blocks. And uh, I think that's uh, I think it's a good place to stop right now. So I hope you guys liked uh, the simulation. If you want to replicate the simulation, you can go into this file right here, and uh, you can post the video. You can see my my, my settings, right? And uh, what I've done is that I have I have basically just edited this section right here. So I'm grabbing the blockchain from the behaviors module, right? And also I've commented out this line so it doesn't post its blockchain to all the other nodes. I'm gonna scroll through it real, uh, real quick. So if you need, you can post the video and see if there's any changes to your file, right? So I hope you guys liked it. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.